They sing, but what they are singing does not go hard in hard with their facial expression. Have you seen those choirs? Pesia furaha wanaweka huzuni. Pesia huzuni wanacheka. Have you seen those choirs? Like unaona, now this is the choir, yeah? Mutogoni choir from my chakos. Goja kidogo. Unaona, kitu ya huzuni. Bwana Yesu aliteswa. Mijeredi alipigwa. Misumari akadugwa, akakufa Nasema, wana Yesu aliteswa Mijeredi alipigwa Misumari akadugwa, akakufa Na sasa, hamefufuka Kaenda binguni, kuishi mirele Nele na milele, nasema aliteswa but ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited to be here. And uh, let me say this, Karibuni sana, by the way. Uh, you know, you are people of arbitrary metaphysical abnegations. And your expectations, Mimusa Professor, is a consequential autocratic bombast, which has ascribed to a rubric for Russia's vivacity, derogatory in the, uh, in the diatomic luminous trajectories of the Genasius plebiscite of Inofasa. Hiyo ni kusema nyinyi ni watu wa maana. Kigeni makofi! 
<laughs> okay, show your love for the one and only Manya. Unajua national anthem inakuanga imempa kila mkenya. Inajali kila mkenya. Ndio maana ikianza inaanza nga e Mungu. Hiyo stanza iliyekewa watu wa kani? kanisa. Kanisa. Hii nyingine ya pili inaanza nga natu, natufanye kazi kwa kwa bidii. Wewe <laughs> you are Ugandan. Hiyo 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 inakuanga imekewa watu wa ofisi. Sasa stanza ya mwisho ndio sawa watu wa mjengo wanaingianga. Mm. Na tujenge. Hi, <laughs> someone was telling me that uh, Kenya uh -huh. Kenya is currently 50 years old, yeah. Uh -huh. Mali president ni mzee kuliko nchi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, and I was asking the guy, so if Kenya is around uh, 50 years old, then where were you living? Ulikuwa unaishi wapi? Wewe ni Uganda. Mali president ni mzee kuliko nchi pia. Unajua president ka kibaki alikuwa ni eh? Haiti at least hai tulichagua tukachagua president mwenye anatoshana na nchi unajua kip anatoshana na nchi ni 54 na Kenya ni 54 yeah, yeah. lakini kitu napenda kuhusu orezo wetu ni mtu wako fashion conscious ni mtu anajua ku match venye anavaa hiyo va tie red na na match na macho <laughs> Tubili. Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Mhm. Mm wamekuja. Eh yeah, wamekuja. Mm. Ya yeah, kuna wengine wamevaa vest. Mm. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> kuna wengine wamevaa sharp shooters. Ya yeah, ni haya. Kuna mwenye akifanya funga kampa vya tuna amevaa loafers. <laughs> Tunakuona. We are seeing you. Uh, kuna slippers. Uh, kuna kuna VIP. VIP. Yes. Kuna pe. Kuna persons. Kwa kiswahili ama people wanapatikana ngo huko kwa mabibi na mabwana. Na hiyo unatolewa mbio hapo. Unajua watu wa peace watu wa kuchezewa. Hapo watu wanaweza shinda Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt akimbiangi. Wewe ukivua tu na mwanaume anaitwa Tyson K. Utasimama. And that is what uh, Bolt was running from. <laughs> <laughs> Bolt was running from gay. Uh -huh. Na kashita. Uh -huh. So sa challenges no to drive. Uh, ni kama unaitwa mwakazi alafu aliambia uko jobless. Yeye mwenyewe ni kazi. Yeye mwenyewe ni kazi. Nika tulienda show committee. Jamaa amefungwa life imprisonment. Na yeye atuambia anaitwa innocent. Yeye kwa ni bujina wana. Kuna majina ya shida kama Kenodia. Kuna majina kama Mwangi. Otieno, Otieno ni majina. Unaona Otieno ni ile jina ukisikia una expect aende shekari kama Range Rover. Unajua Range Rover imeshinda wakiku kwanza wa pastor. Watu wanaharibu jina Range Rover. <laughs> yaani hata sasa hivi ukienda upate Range Rover ya red unajua tu ni na ni accident. <laughs> The reason why we are here today is because a young man dreamt and came up with this noble idea. And in his quest to rise up the land, he involved all of us. He is an MC, he is a motivational speaker, he is a comedian, he is a host. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we do, Shango and MC Kogi, let's rise up on our feet. MC Kogi. the kind of people by the way yeah or uh, when uh, unfortunate things happen like diseases they get serious diseases high fever high blood pressure hypertension and yeah. like some of us who get you know things like marasmas <laughs> <laughs> okay and a very beautiful lady here how are you yeah you know beautiful ladies have very funny names what's your name Monye monye kwa udoko. come on <laughs> When you are with Dorocas. Dorocas, yeah. Now, now, talking of names, by the way, Kenyans yes. have a very interesting way of giving their children names. Yeah. Like in this Nairobi, this city, 
uh, you realize we are challenged. We have a lot of uh, challenges, loans are high. Tuko na madeni. Mpaka mzazi ya kijaliwa kupata mtoto mlana. Vile ya kona madeni, anaito mtoto, Dennis. Dennis, yes. Kuna wengine pia. Akizaliwa babaki ya kikunywa pia. Usichana azariwe babaki ya kikunywa pia. Kama konyagi. Pia. Anaitua Bianca. Bianca. <laughs> Na moja kwa moja tunangalia mpaka kule Western Province. Yes. Western Province uh-huh. wanapenda tanakali ya sauti kuu. Yeah. Wa kuku. Onsakunu. Yeah. Wanapenda kula kuku. Yeah. Kwa hiyo pale mtoto kabla pewe jina anapewa exercise. Yes. Anaambiwa kimbiza hii kuku. Hmm. Kimbiza. Kamata ile. Shika hiyo akiishika hivi huyo mtoto anaitwa shikuku. <laughs> Mabi makofi ya Kansi Mera. So ladies and gentlemen, Kenya's fine is a show we celebrate achievers, and a show we celebrate people. He has worked in Kenya, South Africa, and Nigeria. Today, he's the CEO, the managing director of Space Global Limited that creates opportunities for Kenyans. Why don't you, ladies and gentlemen, put your heads together as you welcome CEO, millionaire, Peter Masao on stage to take it away. Peter Masawa. In the business we do, we call one another millionaires. Why do we call each other millionaires? It's because we create opportunities for each other. Why do we talk about opportunities? The first thing is what is an opportunity? It's good we understand what we are talking about, so that we are all on one page. It's something where you're, set, you're talking about creating circumstances that make it possible for you to do something or for you to achieve a favorable goal, or for you to become successful. That is what I do. Now, it becomes difficult to talk about opportunities without talking about my history. I'm a product of people having helped me to be able to achieve whatever I have achieved. Somebody, 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 some fundamental. Then go to Swahili. Is it his angle? Is it his angle? Is it fundamental? Is it his angle? Is it his angle? Is it fundamental? What you are called here, Kenyans? Muzungu ukipatia kitu hakunyu ama hakuli Sasa jipanya mimi ni muzungu na nipatia hii I don't take it, muzungu Nipatia, I don't take this, yeah? So, nipatia, mimi ni muzungu Oh, this is Fanta Panda soda, I don't take panda sorry, but thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mukenya. Sasa mimi ni Mukenya unipatie hiyo sikunywagi fanta. Nipatie. Hii nini? Ni fanta. Hii ni fanta. Ni fanta. Hmm. You mean Fanta? Fanta. Si kunywa ki Fanta. Hey, wa Kenya, Kenyans with opportunity. Kenyans, yeah. But I can see beautiful ladies in the house. You know the meolewa. You know I'm single. <laughs> you don't know what can happen here. Meolewa ni nyote. You know, but it's so easy to know a married lady. Na mtu hana mtu. Very simple. Ringtone ya simu. Kumpigia simu. Ya? Mtu wako na mtu. Musichana wako na buwana ukimpigia simu. Unasikianga. Alipo buwana yote ya weze kana. Alipo buwana yote ya. Alipo buwana yote ya na weze kana. 
anajua inawezekana msichana kwa miaka 35 na bado hana mtu unampigia simu Mungu unajua hujanisa unajua kwamba huwezi kuniacha Wako hivyo in fact tupiri kuja tena you know, you know like you know, like when, when ladies are 20 years old to 22 they play hard to get yeah mpaka msichana wa 20 years akipita anapita chali alafu jifanye uniite nikipita uniambie they pretend yeah that mean msichana mpaka nifike hapo uniite eh hey, boss ni kwa def wa ma ndio mrefu hey my press my choice sasa msichana wa 20 years anapita uniite uni why they pretend they go Hey. Haski 20. Sasa msichana wa miaka 39. So msichana 39 nikipita hapo uko hoe, uko hoe, ya? Msichana wa 39. Umeniita. Eh? Even you know, as even you know, even a lady, a lady who is 22, 22 to 24, ya? They usually look for a lot of things in a man, yeah? The qualities they look for a man is a very big list. List in atosha na hivi, yeah? It's a vision a very big list in atosha na hivi. Yeah? The things they look for in a man. List in atosha na hivi unasikia oh, for me for a man to qualify to be my husband He should be rich, possibly working as a manager in a bank. He must be tall, dark and handsome. He must be god fearing, adhering, caring, loving. He must be staying in Karen Okitu's Oru. He must have Mwakazi's voice. He must have blue eyes. He must be driving a Range Rover Sport. He must know how to swim. He must take me to holiday once a month in Dubai. He must know how to cook. He must have all the teeth. He must have a nice chest. His bank account should read 10 million and above. He must know how to play piano. Yani hizo vitu zote. What a big me kada ti. That in nine. Least wanga kama. Ladies and gentlemen, wapi wako vya MC Kogi? MC Kogi uko wapi? Mimi nakwambia I'm in town. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of those Kenya's finest moments. You know, the other days when you used to write letters way back when you were in primary school and later in high school. And as on my way here, uh, a boy in primary school gave me a letter he wrote recently to his so called girlfriend and another one in high school gave me a letter that I would like to we, we get to know what kind of things are they writing uh, we begin with the primary one eh? um hmm. this is how the village lover wrote to his man back then it looks recent eh? all right hello my sweet love love Since that day we left each other at the shopping mall of your family. I am missing you very much in the night I cannot sleep even small. <laughs> I also work very much in school to go to university like you so that you are not defeat me a lot in clever. <laughs> Please never leave me dear because if you left me I can drink medicine and die or end the river. <laughs> When you come bring me a bike. I did perfume so I know you love me or you are praying for me. Let me not write many because words are grass. But let me tell you, many boys are wanting me. They want to hold me and throw me like Diego. <laughs> but I'm not like them. I want you alone. Good my good by my lover from your wife Vera. Abi makovi ya Vera. Then there's a letter from uh, the boy who is in high school. 
writing to his girlfriend. This time he decided to express himself mathematically. Hey, Tom, my dear chick, I may not be good with words because my English is not fluent, but what I feel deep inside my heart persuades me to express myself mathematically. Every time when I see you, you simultaneously divide my life into two equations. <laughs> because my feelings for you cross multiply on a daily basis, you inspire me to be greater than zero. <laughs> Your smile keeps me in touch with the special angles of my heart. You make me feel relaxed on the x-axis where y is equal to zero. <laughs> when I come across you, I feel turning like a parabola. Admit you on the turning point where I can utter three words to you. Words that describe the midpoint of my heart. Without you, my heart is like a semicircle because you stole the other half. I really appreciate if you could come together and so for X so that we both stop to be vertically opposite and become corresponding angles. <laughs> I know you are intelligent enough to understand the fact that when it comes to trigonometric world, we are all positive in the first quadrant. Wapi makovya yo jamaa. So ladies and gentlemen, another Kenya's finest. Put your hands together for Pauline Wanja. one of the very basic human needs that most of the time it gets neglected. But education does a lot of justice when you talk about hope. It gives us hope or the chance to aspire for better lives. But for millions of children in Kenya and around the world, they're not able to access that kind of education. That kind of education that is so powerful that is able to lift millions from poverty, that is able to make young minds dream of greater things. The kind of education that you know, prepares you to be successful, prepares young people to be, um, to be empathetic human beings. And as Future First Global, we are seeking to change that. And our model is using alumni communities. We believe in the transformative power of alumni. What we do, we support schools to build strong alumni communities and build spaces for interaction between current students and alumni, and the alumni for various different schools. Yes. Thank you so much, Pauline Wanja. We can give something. We can ask very simple questions, and we can, like I can ask you a question. Just stand up. I can, then I can give you 50. Uh, what's your name? My name is Eric. Eric. By the way, Umejua. <laughs> yeah, Umejua. He has known his name. See, he is Eric. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. Now, uh, let me ask a question. Yeah? Uh, I don't know. Na Kiswahiri ni? I don't know. Sijui. Who you are, Jui? Where would you be? You don't know. Umeanguka <laughs> ibo. Yeah, but you know, kuna research ina sema. Men are more wise than ladies. That's true. Is that is that true? Okay, let me find out. Uh, spell for me the word boy. B O Y. B O Y. Thank you. <laughs> now, ladies, spell for me the word Ekaterina Tredavirova. Ekaterina Tredavirova. E K T R E N. Hey, umeanguka. Okay, ne candidate. <laughs> like the next speaker. Are you enjoying this? Yeah. Uh, put your hands together. Can you celebrate yourselves? <laughs> Kenya's finest. We're going to celebrate ourselves. Come on. One of the Kenya's finest is we dress the way we want. With that, while we were away, we came with a brief poem. My dress, my choice. Call your life band. Let's take this away. Dress, dress. Dress in Bimu. Dress up in an image, you know what you dress. Dress up in a perception, yeah, your profession, occupation, and religion. Three piece suit, your career bankers, now as your insurance. Overall, your food, your jungle. 
Ukivaa tai mm, niko na tai watu watadhani wa tired in life vilemba ni vya korino na rasta kubaliwa na rasta feri and yema na pro but your dress is your own initiative and responsibility your dress your choice decent long dresses long trousers oh but siku hizi tu vitu tufupi fupi labda vile tumezoea vitu nusu 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 mkate nusu mkeka disbana ba vitu fupi fupi but you know your dress is your own initiative and responsibility your dress your choice Mbona KDF wasivae kaptura? 
Mbona wanafunzi wasivae pajama kama uniform wakiwa shule? But you know what? Your dress is your own initiative and responsibility. Your dress, your ultimate choice. so much ma'am anakujaga mpaka kutuangalia tu changing room tukipakwa makeup because we are the sons but kama ama hatukai kama tuna makeup hatukangi hivi kama tunakaa hivi na makeup and by the way mc kogi we have a lot of surprises even for our audience oh, yes. like today it's one of our audience birthday but let's do this the bad Tafadhali cheza ka kitu ya hiyo hiyo So, Winnie Morey, what's one wish you want to tell your dear husband? One wish as we he celebrates his birthday today. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I want to say to my husband that uh, he's the best uh, friend I have and he's the best uh, father to our children. Uh, I mean, he's a genius. So, uh, I love you. Wow, asante sana. Hatuna gift lakini hapa kuna maji mtu haja kunywa. Unaweza jishikia hilo. Yeah, asante sana. Thank you so much. Wapi makofi yao? Thank you so much. So today we want to celebrate the Kenya's finest media personality. You know him, you love him. Put your hands together for none other than Mr. Johnson Mwakazi! It's a great honor always to talk to my countrymen and women. Please turn to the person seated next to you and tell them successful people look like you. I learned that I learned that from my colleague in the media world. But then the last time I was talking to business people I told them this and I'm going to tell you the same. Turn to the person seated next to you and tell them corrupt people look like you just like you. <laughs> 
just like you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to be here. My name is Johnson Mwakazi. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Now let's do that again because your name is very important. I, I don't want any person to call you weary. They need to call you your name. So I need to hear your name powerfully. My name is Johnson Mwakazi. What is your name? What is your name? Makofi Tafadali. Makofi, Makofi. The three stages according to me for a media personality. The first one is the initiation stage. Say initiation stage. This is where you are welcomed, you read your first script, you watch yourself on television. The, initia the initiation stage basically gives you an opportunity to ask people, did you watch me on TV? How did I look? My clothes? How did I sound? So it's purely about how you look and how you sound. Nothing much. Many people who are still there are perhaps interns, people who are just coming in, they really don't understand the media world. For them it's, I was on TV. Then the second, next stage is what I call the information stage. This is where a journalist is there and will engage questions, facts and figures. And such a journalist will not talk to you about, did you see me on TV? They will ask you, did I ask the right question? What are the issues we're talking about? And I feel in many media stations, a lot of journalists are on that level. My focus right now is on the third level. The third level, which is influence. Why am I here right now as a journalist? I want to be the best journalist, but is that really enough? And as I made that transition from Citizen Television to WTV, this was the one question I had to answer. Why a journalist now in Kenya? And I said I wanted to be a journalist who stood for something. A journalist who stood for something. When you read the statistics, Nakata statistics, that tell you that 2.6 million young people are drug addicts. From an information perspective, I want to tell you that story. But from an influence perspective, I'm thinking, what can I do to provide a solution? So Mr. Jameson Mwakazi, uh, in my book, The X Matrix, where I've highlighted the seven P's of success, uh, two of the P's is and passion. And when you narrow down to you, you are golden, deep authoritative voice that speaks volumes. When did you discover that it was your selling point? After secondary education, and I remember the statement from my principal then, he said secondary education is but basic education. It won't take you anywhere. And so I started to survive in Kibra. <coughs> And I joined a youth group, and they were into theater. So there was this particular time when uh, I was told to read a, a script. And after I read, one gentleman said, my goodness, you've got a good voice. So that affirmation for me really started the journey. But definitely, of course, right now I realize there is no better voice. There is only a trained voice. So you wow. just need to train your voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. Now, Mr. Johnson Okazi, another thing that comes out clear about you is your humility. I even noted this when we had a conversation in your office. Very welcoming, very humble, down to earth. Is it inborn, is it innate, or it's something that perhaps you picked it up along the way? Well, I think I, I picked it up. And um, the fact that I understand where God took me from because it really springs from that understanding that uh, there was a time I didn't have what I have. 
And for me, this is a privilege even to talk to you right now. It's a great privilege. And so it's something that I've learned as I grow and that many teachers will have taught me. That has really taught me to listen and learn. So I, I definitely learned it along the way. Wonderful. Uh, my name is Bishef. Uh, my question is media related. Uh, I'm for the opinion that uh, uh, social media is taking over, over the mainstream media, so that is radio and uh, TV. Uh, with internet connection coming up in, in like 20 years to come, with the rural areas being connected, what is the future of the mainstream media? That's my question to my cousin. You are currently with WTV. The question would be, what are you doing to avail opportunities for anybody who would be viewing media as their kind of thing? What avenues are there for these people? Right. Um, so social media and mainstream media. <coughs> Definitely technology has changed a lot of things. I mean, with time, we won't even have to sit down together like this. We'll have to have a, an, an, an e-conference kind of meeting. The reality is when you're looking at social media, it's really part of citizen journalism taken to another level. Of course, we also appreciate mainstream media gets a lot of clues from what happens in social media. But it's also very important to understand that journalism is a profession. There's a code of ethics. There's how things ought to be done. And that particular part of that profession can never be thrown out. Because you will get information from social media, but you still need somebody to qualify. You just don't believe anything. It has to be qualified. Um, the question of WTV availing opportunities. <coughs> I would even tell you, it's not just WTV. You know, when, but before the digital migration, we only had four stations. And for a very long time, I went to universities and colleges, and I would ask them, how many people would want to be news anchors? And they would put their hands up. And I would tell them, they're limited. They're so limited spaces, unless you're praying for one of us to die so that you take up their position. <laughs> It's not going to happen. But with digital migration, we're talking about over 50 stations out there seeking, yearning for content. But you can actually create your own employment by creating content that is geared or connected to your strengths. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Mokaz, for finding time to make a presentation and for coming. We call this, by the way, the red seat. Today we decided to be creative so that this red of the shirt reflects on the page and it appears red in camera. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much, Mr. Johnson, my cousin. Well, it's the majogu wa shamba hawiki mjini Lakini cheki wenye mungu wa mekutoa Umetoka mbali Ate Umetoka mbali Video, kidu, pili Matariti na mocha, rini entry na exit To high ama death, God ana exist Wengi walifinyo na budget Currently wanna travel by jet Naona beyond food kwa plex Nataka jina yangu kwa number plex Wengine shule walishindwa na grama Lakini sahi uwashini kwa grama Umetoka mbali Unaenda mbali Umetoka mbali Shukuru mungu kwa yote Umetoka mbali Umeenda mbali Umetoka mbali Shukuru mungu kwa yote Unameta meta Unameta meta Shukuru mungu kwa yote Unameta meta Unameta meta Unameta meta Shukuru mungu kwa yote Jana ulikuwa mkatamiwa Leo unaitwa mheshimiwa Jana ulikuwa mhasiriwa Leo unaitwa mbarikiwa Jana ulikuwa na mashajiko Leo minaona umepata jiko Jana, 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 jana Atuniri! Umetoka Unaenda Umetoka Shukuru Umetoka Unaenda Umetoka mbali, shukuru, tukifunga ti 
Unameta, 